What's up y'all, Josh the Bollinger Outdoors here. Um, I wanted to, so I'm experimenting with something today. So usually when I take my kayak out, I have my handy dandy Danger Ranger. I call him Ranger Joe. Um, and I'm able to get my kayak um, in the back here and kind of have it um, up on the top. And then I just have uh, three total ratchet straps I use to secure it. Um, I've gone down the interstate at 70 miles an hour with it and had no issues, um, but, we are taking a family trip and I have a small cab on this truck. So um, someday I'll buy a slightly bigger truck. Um, I actually, I'm not a big fan of huge trucks um, just because I feel like it's excess and does like just not necessary. Um, I think the, anyway, I'm not gonna get off on a tangent. Cars are too expensive. Um, they're a waste of money and they don't, they're, they're not an investment. Um, so they end up costing you more money in the long run. Um, and you can, might look cool for a while, but eventually you lose all that money to nothing. I mean, I guess you get utility, but anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, you can see I've actually kind of started already, um, but I'm just going to document this so I can share it with y'all. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is, um, we, so we got to take the van. Um, let me start at square one. We got to take the van uh, so we can get all our family in there, make sure our kids are nice and safe and secure. Um, but our van does not have a roof rack. Um, so... Uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna how I'm gonna work with that um, and how I'm gonna get my uh, 12 foot kayak on top of it um, and uh, and uh, how we're gonna make that happen. So stick with me. All right. So um, I went to Lowe's earlier this morning and just bought this is just pipe insulation. Um, usually it's like cut through, but this just has a slit in it, so it's kind of cool because it's not completely cut through. But um, essentially these are glorified pool noodles um but i think this foam is a little bit higher density um than pool noodles is it might not be these might just be pool noodles that are black um but anyway uh, what i'm gonna do is just um we gotta clean this van before we go too um what i'm gonna do is just get a quick measurement of the roof uh and figure out about how long i need these try not to scrape this up too bad So, 52 inches, and this is a 2016 Dodger and Caravan if you just want to match, match my stuff. Uh, 52, take a middle measurement. Yep, like I thought, so the middle one we're going to do at 50. One fifty-two for the front. Eight. Actually, I'm just gonna cut them all at fifty, because um, then it makes it easy, and I don't have to keep track of the sizes and which one to do. So um, I would videotape cutting them, but I think y'all can manage measuring and cutting at fifty inches. So I'm gonna cut them, and then we'll get them installed. All right. So um, I've just got some rope here, uh, and what I'm gonna do just pass it through these also for cost purposes um, I actually looked at getting some like um, actual foam blocks um, which I would pr probably still recommend um, but they are more expensive uh, but um, we are going out of town this weekend and I did not plan ahead very well so um, that's why we're in this predicament. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, but um, anyway, um, these are about three bucks. They're a little bit less than three dollars a piece. So um, I just I just threaded some string through it, and then what I'm gonna do is come down through the doors, um, and then I'm gonna tie. Uh, I'll show you how to tie it. It's a knot I do a lot. It's a slip knot that basically tightens on itself, um, but that way uh, we can tighten and loosen it real easily. Um, and then so I'm gonna do one here, and then. I might actually only be able to get two on here. I didn't really think about this too much, but the back windows, I guess I could, I guess we could leave the back windows open. Maybe. Kimmy's giving me the, she doesn't know look. Um, but uh, if I'm gonna do one in the rear, I'm gonna probably have to vent our back windows and tie that in. Um, I might 
do that anyway so I can put an extra strap through there. Um, just make sure it's secure since it's a really big kayak. Um, but anyway, try that on top. And come over here to the other side. And then, um, and then we'll bring you inside and I'll show you how I tie the knot. Okay, so Kimmy had a good idea. Um, we actually have these grab bars in here, um, and instead of tying this first one above our heads where our heads might rub against it, especially mine because my head kind of hits the top of this anyway, um, we're going to tie these front ones to the grab bars on each side. Um, so there's nothing real special about the knot for that one, um, but uh, I mean, it's going to be basically an overhand knot with a half hitch to keep it secure. Um, so that's all we should really need on this side. And then uh, we'll go to the other side and tie that one. Okay, all right, so here we are on the other side. Um, the seat belts are kind of in the way-ish. Um, I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, I might actually tie that knot on this side though. Um, so just to show y'all how that works. Um, to tie that tightening knot, you just do two loops. Um, if I can remember how to tie it. All right, so you come up and you do two loops, kind of like on the back side, like under the knot. See that? And then you bring the your tag end around and then do two loops on the front side of it and then tighten them up together and um, you kind of got to just work it until it gets tight. Um, but the cool thing about this knot, um, assuming that you get it nice and tight and it's, and it's secure, is that now I can take this tag end and tighten up on it. I'm sure that's hard to see. Here, I'll grab this. And it's actually a, a tight now. So, hand me hand that back to you over on this side. And so, what I can do basically is um, just push on this knot. And it tightens up. And there's got a tight knot. And then when I'm ready to undo it, um, I just got to loosen that up and this shouldn't doesn't really need to have to be too tight. It's just to hold that in place um, So it's not that big of a deal um, It doesn't have to be like locked down. We'll use ratchet straps um, once the kayaks on top um, And that'll be like our super secure for the rest of it All right, so um, Now we're doing the middle one same thing put the string through it if you've got a van make sure to put it behind the the door guide um, so you're not catching on that uh, otherwise you're gonna have a, a pretty gnarly trip um, just to show you this knot again so here's my two pieces of string I'm gonna wrap the first one and then and you want to try to keep this as tight as you can while you're doing it because it just makes it easier to for it to be tight when you're done and then you do your second one okay and then you come over to the other side of it and then I'm gonna do two, some, peop, some people do one wrap on this side. Um, and a lot of times that's actually sufficient. I do two. Um, so it's just kinda, kinda your preference. And then you just wanna work that in until you've got a good tight knot. Um, and essentially you're gonna, you can take these two and tighten them. And then what I can do now is I can pull on that knot and create, look at, I mean, look at how tight that is. And then if you want a little extra security, you can take these tag ends and just do a half hitch um, and put that half hitch on each side of it. Um, this one's not really gonna do anything, but um, I can do a half hitch here too. And this is my daughter that feels incessantly the need to be in every video. And then I'm gonna take these tag ends and just kind of wrap them around here so my my one and a half year old doesn't decide it's playtime. Hopefully my two year old doesn't decide it's playtime with them either, right? Yeah. 
She's confused because you called her two. Or you're my six year old. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Getting old. Um, all right, cool. So if my wife would be so kind to show the top of that. Uh, so there we got our two noodles. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put one more in the back. Um, but my wife has got to get to class for the gym. So um, we'll do that when she gets back. All right, um, so we got the last one on. So here's just to show y'all what it looks like. There's number one, number two, and number three. And give me one second, I'll flip the camera around, I'll give you, uh, show you on the inside what it all looks like. All right, so for this first one uh, on the front of the car, just to recap, we wrapped them around and just um, tied them to the, the grab bars on the inside of the van. Um, for the second ones, we wrapped down underneath and then connected with that, um, that, I can't remember the name of that, uh, knot, but that knot that tightens on itself. Um, and one thing to note, um, hopefully you don't run into any weather, um, if you're doing something like this, because these do rub in this weather stripping, um. I'm almost wondering if I should have put something there to help protect the weather stripping, but I think it'll be okay for this trip. Um, there, I mean, uh, if, if it rains, there'd just be a little bit of water that gets in, but just be aware of that. Um, that is something that can happen. And, um, but, uh, but hopefully it's not a big deal. Um, and then just show you again up here, I have this behind the track. So, um, that way I'm able to push the door all the way back and forward without interfering with that top part. And then lastly, here's the last one. Um, and I just vented the windows and I actually, there's weather stripping in here too. So I should be able to sh shut the window somewhat on that, but I, I don't want to push on it too hard because I don't want this window to end up cracking because of that. So I'll probably leave them open slightly um, and I'll probably take this back one off when we get where we're going. So um, next, uh, my wife and I will get the kayak on top and I will try my best to videotape that and show you how we do it. Okay, so I did not get a video of us actually putting it on top of the van. <laughs> um, so I apologize for that. Uh, it did take two of us to get it up there. Um, there is a way to get kayaks on top of vehicles um, by yourself if needs be. Just take like a, a quilt or a towel or something and put it on the side of the van so that you don't scratch up the paint and then you can slide it up there. Um, but essentially, uh, here's a final picture of what it will look like um, or what it did look like for us uh, before we went on our trip. Um, and this thing made it about 200 miles round trip without shifting at all. Um, there was a good bit of noise on it. Um, you could hear the hear the um, the ratchet straps vibrating uh, because it's basically like a tight guitar string up there with the wind blowing over it and it just makes a bunch of humming. Um, there is a way to help avoid that if you twist the ratchet straps a little bit. Um, it helps reduce that. So, um, But anyway, um, as you can see, we got the kayak on top and then we just ran the ratchet straps through the same spots where we had the uh, string running through for the uh, to keep the, the foam rolls um, in place. And uh, we... Uh, Got it up there, and uh, it was secure and worked out, and I got to fish the Chattahoochee. I already posted that video. Hopefully you all liked that and got a chance to watch it. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you are looking for a way to get your kayak on top of your vehicle and don't have a roof rack, uh, this is how we did it, and uh, you can do it too.